Statistical Quality Control, Acceptance Sampling, Chapter 1, Introduction. The Acceptance Sampling Problem. That means where we can apply this acceptance sampling, what is the problem in which we need to apply this acceptance sampling to get our desired results? What is acceptance sampling? How is it applied? Suppose for instance, a company receives a shipment of product from a supplier. So there is a company and it has ordered certain product and the product has been supplied by the supplier and that shipment or the parcel has been received by the company. Now this product may be used as a component or raw material used in the company's production process. That means this product which the company has ordered and the supplier has supplied, this product is used as a raw material or a component in that company's production process. So suppose a company is of packaged, is making packaged juices, then different kinds of fruits it will be requiring and it will be ordering all those fruits and the supplier will be supplying a shipment of tons of fruits to the company and the company will process those fruits and make them into juices and package them and sell it. So in that way this product which the company has ordered may be used as a component or raw material by the company in its production process. Okay. Now a sample is taken from the lot and some quality characteristic of the units in the sample is inspected. Now the shipment has been received by the company and we know that this product is used by the company in its production process. This product may be a component or it may be a raw material and the company is making its products using these components. Now a sample is taken from the lot. What is the lot here? The lot is the shipment or the parcel which the company has received from the supplier. Now a sample is taken from the lot and some quality characteristic of the units in the sample is inspected. Right? So we use this in daily life also. So a very common example which is always given is when you go to buy rice then you check the quality of rice by taking some rice in your hand and then examining the sample of that rice if the sample is good you buy the uh, rice in ample amount right so in the same way the product which has been ordered it should contain certain quality characteristic right so while ordering fruits so the quality characteristic will be the fruit should be fresh it should not be rotten etc right so a sample from the lot will be taken and some quality characteristic of the units in the sample will be inspected now on the basis of this information given by the sample a decision regarding disposition of the lot is made now the sample which you have taken from the lot you have inspected all those units all the units of the sample and now some information about the quality of the units in the sample will be given by the sample itself and on the basis of that information you are going to either accept the lot or you are going to either reject the lot so on the basis of the information given by the sample, a decision regarding the disposition of the lot is made. What do you mean by disposition? Disposition means the decision regarding the lot. Whether we are accepting the lot or we are rejecting the lot, a decision regarding this is made on the basis of the sample or the information provided by the sample. A decision of accepting or rejecting the lot is referred to as lot sentencing. Right, it's like giving a sentence, it's like court sentence. So we are giving the decision regarding the lot on the basis of the sample, and the decision is of the form 
in the form of either accepting the lot or rejecting the lot and this decision is called as lot sentencing so we are giving our sentence the final decision about the lot whether we need to accept or reject the lot on the basis of the sample on or on the basis of the information given by the sample accepted lots are put into production obviously because this lot consists of product which is to be used by the company as a component or a raw material in its production process so if the lot is accepted the accepted lots will be put into production whereas the rejected lots may be returned back to the supplier or may be subjected to some other lot disposition action so we'll see first this accepted lots are put into production if the lot is accepted that lot of that product will be directly put into production so if the fruits are fresh they are not rotten they are juicy then they'll be directly uh, put into the production of juices and they'll be packed and the process will be continued whereas the rejected lot it may be returned back to the supplier will return back to the supplier okay the lot is not good we have tested it we don't find it uh, we are not satisfied with the lot and we are returning it back to you or it may be subjected to some other lot disposition action what can be this some other lot disposition action either we are accepting the lot if we are accepting then well and good if we are rejecting then either we can return the lot to the suppl uh, supplier or we can replace all the defective items by good items so the other disposition action could be we can replace the defective items or defective units of the entire lot with good non defective units okay now three important features of acceptance sampling we'll see what are the three important aspects or features of acceptance sampling first is acceptance sampling is used for lot sentencing only and not for the estimation of lot quality so we are just using this acceptance sampling only for lot sentencing only to make a decision whether to accept a lot or to reject a lot we are not estimating lot quality what do you mean by lot quality lot quality can be referred to as number of defective items in the lot using acceptance sampling we can not estimate the number of defective items in the lot we are not estimating the lot quality we are just using acceptance sampling for lot sentencing because uh, we are taking a sample and making decision regarding the lot on the basis of this sample we are only using it for lot sentencing we cannot estimate the lot quality we can but we are not using this technique acceptance sampling is not used for estimation of the lot quality acceptance sampling plans do not provide any direct form of quality control acceptance sampling simply accepts or rejects lots process control method controls and systematically improves the lot quality but acceptance sampling method does not so acceptance sampling plans they are not used for controlling the lot uh, controlling the process quality control charge and other process control techniques are used to control the quality of the process or the product acceptance sampling is not used for controlling the quality it is only used for lot sentencing that is either we can accept the lot or reject the lot acceptance sampling cannot control the lot quality so first is it can only be used for lot sentencing or making decision about the end result of the lot what we need to do with the lot ultimately it is not used for estimation of the lot quality it is also not used for controlling the lot quality acceptance sampling is not effective to inspect quality into the product production but is used as an audit tool used to ensure that the product conforms to requirements conforms means it agrees to the requirements made by the customer or the requirements which has been claimed by the company or the producer 
so acceptance sampling basically is used as an audit tool which ensures that the product agrees or conforms to all the requirements it is not effective to inspect quality into the production it will neither estimate the quality it will neither control the quality it will neither inspect the quality it is just used as an audit tool to con to check whether the product is having all the required qualities or not if not then the lot is rejected three general methods used for lot sentencing so what are the three general methods which are used for lot sentencing so either accept the lot with no inspection right so here we are not even accepting uh, we are not even inspecting the lot we are just accepting the lot without inspection we are not even inspecting by taking a small sample we are just inspecting nothing and we are directly accepting the lot it is useful when the supplier's process is so good that the defective items or units are almost never found or when to find defective units is not economically justified for instance if the capability ratio of the supplier is 3 or 4 then acceptance sampling is unlikely to discover any defective items or any defective units now when we are going to accept the lot without inspection when the supplier's reputation is so high that we know that the supplier's process is going to be so good that defective items we are never going to encounter any defective items why because it is a reputed supplier and its process is very nice very good without any defective we hardly find any defective item that means the capability ratio now what is capability ratio i'm not going to explain it here you can google or you can read it somewhere else but it is a measure of the quality it is a quality measure basically so if the capability ratio of the supplier is 3 or 4 then acceptance sampling is unlikely to discover any defective units so if the quality measure is so high then this process acceptance sampling in, in which we are just taking a small sample of the lot and we are inspecting that sample and we are making any decision about that lot this acceptance sampling will not discover or is unlikely or there is a very less probability of discovering any defective units so when the supplier's process is so good will accept the lot will not do any inspection will save time and money but this hardly happens right second method used for lot sentencing it can be 100% inspection that means we are accept we are inspecting the lot each and every unit of the lot it is called as 100% inspection so 100% inspection is we are inspecting the lot 100% we are inspecting each and every unit of the lot which we have got and after doing the 100% inspection only we are making any decision about lot disposition or lot sentencing it is generally used when the product is extremely critical and passing any defective defectives would result in an unacceptably high failure cost at subsequent stages or when the supplier's capability ratio is too low to trust the product so basically it is used when the product is extremely critical it can be a medical product it can be a drug it can be a vaccine where the product is extremely critical and passing any defectives would result in an unacceptably high failure cost it might result to someone's death so if the product is that critical then we are compelled to do 100% inspection or when the supplier's capability ratio or the quality measure is too low that even we do not trust the method of acceptance sampling the quality is not reliable at all the supplier is having a very bad reputation and that compels you again to do 100% inspection about the lot so out of 3 we have seen first inspect accept the lot.